If you're experiencing crashes in Fortnite on your PC, don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll show you how to fix the Fortnite crash on PC. I'll walk you through a few simple steps to get your game up and running again in no time. So make sure to watch this video until the very end to learn how to keep your game running smoothly. So the first thing you want to do is move your mouse cursor to the left side of the screen and click on the file explorer icon in the taskbar. And then click on the local disk C. Once you are on the C drive, double click on the program files folder. Then double click on the epic games folder. Then double click on the Fortnite folder. Then double click on the Fortnite game folder. And then double click on the binaries folder. And then double click on the Win64 folder. And then double click on the Easy Anti Cheat folder. So, what you want to do next is make sure that you are connected to the internet and then double click the Easy Anti Cheat underscore setup.exe and then click Yes. And then you will see something like this. Simply select game 217, which is Fortnite, and then click on Repair Service. For so many people, this has fixed the issue because Easy Anti-Cheat was one of the reasons why the game crashed. So if you are still encountering issues, then let's move on to the next solution. Simply go back, scroll down a little bit, and you will see these four EXE files. Simply left click on the first EXE file, and then right click it. And from these options select properties, and then go over to the compatibility tab, and check these boxes. Disable full screen optimizations. Run this program as an administrator, and then click on change high DPI settings, and then tick this box. Override high DPI scaling behavior. Scaling performed by. And then click OK. Click Apply, and click OK to close this. And you want to do the same thing for the other three EXE files as well. Right-click it. And then click on Properties. And then go over to the Compatibility tab, and check these boxes. Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Run this program as an administrator and then click on Change High DPI Settings, and then tick this box. Override High DPI Scaling Behavior. Scaling performed by, then click OK, click Apply, and click OK to close this. Once you do that, open up Fortnite, and hopefully, it will run without any crashes. If you are still experiencing issues, then let's move on to the next solution, which is to update your graphics card driver. If you are using an NVIDIA card, download the GeForce experience from the official NVIDIA site and then open it up. And then click on the drivers at the top left. And then simply click on check for updates. If you have an outdated graphics card driver, then make sure to update it to the latest version because that outdated graphics driver might be the main reason why your game is crashing. Another thing I would like to mention is that you should make sure that you are using the latest version of Windows. If not, update your Windows and also download and install optional quality updates as well. So if you are still facing issues, then let's move on to the next solution. Open up the Epic Games Launcher and then click on your profile icon at the top right of the screen. Then click on Settings. And then scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and click on Fortnite. And then tick this box. Additional command line arguments. And then type in D3D12 over here. So what this will do is launch Fortnite in DirectX 12 mode. If your PC doesn't support DirectX 12, clear the D3D12 and type in D3D11 and it will launch Fortnite in DirectX 11. Hopefully one of these should fix your issue. 
So while we are on the Epic Games Launcher, go back and click the library on the left side of the screen, and then click on these three little dots under the Fortnite icon. And then click on Manage. And then click on Verify. So what this will do is verify the game files and make sure that everything is as it should be. So, if some files became corrupted while updating the game, this should fix it, and you should be able to play Fortnite again. And the last thing that you can do is install the latest version of Visual C++. So open up any web browser that you like, and then search for the latest Visual C++. And then click on this exact search result. So when you are on this site, scroll down and you will need to download the file according to your PC architecture. So most of you guys will have x64 based PCs. So go ahead and click on the link next to your PC's architecture, in this case, x64. And then download that file onto your PC. After that, click on that to open it. And then click on I agree to the license terms and conditions, and click on install. Once you install that, restart your PC and then open up Fortnite, and it should run smoothly. So that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions about this whole process, please let me know in the comments section below. And if this video helped you out, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.